Okay, we're recording. Welcome everybody to the call tonight. My name is Eric Johnson, creator and CEO of TeamZ. Um, I am very excited to be with you tonight. Just so you know, you're all muted for just to keep the distractions down. But if you feel the spirit move you, you may unmute and ask questions. That's totally fine. We'll do open Q&A at the end as well. Um, and then if you hear somebody being loud and disruptive, take a look and make sure that it's not your microphone that's unmuted somewhere in the, in the call tonight. Here's what we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna take you through um, Teamsy, quick, quick little tour of Teamsy for those of you who aren't using it. And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do a power hour in Teamsy, okay? And the, one of the things that's, that's kind of great about the system is it allows you to do all of your income producing activities you guys call them your DMOs, right? In less than an hour of day. And in the beginning, it's even less. It's like 30 minutes in the beginning. It takes a while to build up to an hour because it's part, part of it is filling your pipeline. Well, I'll kind of show you how that goes. But what you can do, and I'll show you tonight, in 20 minutes, you can connect with 20 people, start conversations, and then I'll teach you how to, you know, how you take those conversations and, and bring them on to recruiting people or getting new customers. Pretty cool. And it's something that you can do every day really easily without alienating people, without chasing your friends away or damaging relationships. And, um, and it's really fun. Okay, so it's gonna leverage your time, make you efficient, and it's fun to do. Okay, um, so let's jump right in. You guys now see my Teamsy screen? Okay, so this is Teamsy for Juice Plus. Now, a couple things here. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the dashboard. You've got right here at the top is a lookup bar. That's you can look up anybody in your Teamsy and look them up and do anything with them. So if you're, somebody's on your mind, you can connect with them, look up their information. It's all right there. Okay. You want to add people to Teams? You click this add contact button and you can add somebody in. Super easy. If you want to do a bulk import of a file, say from um, your, your back office or from your Facebook, you just click this bulk import right here. And that takes you to that page, okay? Pretty simple. Right here, today's activities, these are the goals for the day, your goals, your daily goals. And I'll show you how, how we set that up in a second. We'll do, I'll do a quick setup with you. These are the daily goals for the day. You can see my goals are to connect with nine prospects, six customers, and four distributors, okay? 19 people. Your dailies are things that, just little checklists for yourself, things you need to do every day to be successful. We put, there's four of these that we put on here that are non-negotiable, which are social posts, personal development work, you use your products and exercise, and then you can add your own in addition. I've added devotional to mine, okay? And then your power hour is right where you do all your work right here in Teamsy. This is your power hour module, okay? What's cool about this is, Teamsy gives you your four lists, prospects, customers, distributors, and follow-ups right here in the power hour. It tells you who's up next, who to connect with next, so you don't have to think or plan. It cycles through your entire list for you based on the priority you set people. I'll show you how that works in a second. So that you never have to plan or worry about somebody coming back. They're always gonna cycle through so nobody can ever drop through the cracks, which is pretty cool. We give you five names at a time so you don't get overwhelmed and so you don't skip through it too much right? So you work your, your, your power hour here. It tells you who to connect with, and then you're going to log your activity here, okay? <clears throat> your navigation's on the left. You can jump to your team page, which has your entire list. Everybody you know is in here. It's like your online Rolodex, right? Teams is a full-fledged CRM, for those of you who know what that means. And, um, and then there's all kinds of other cool stuff you can do on this page. We're not going to get too deep into it today. But a couple things I do want to highlight on the left side, the help center, which is full of videos and FAQs to help you with anything that you might come up with. The university, which has training courses. These are, this is from our, my coaching career, right? These are coaching courses, not Teamsy courses, but there's three here that are included that are free. Okay, and there's more you can purchase. And then, go back there. The other thing is the community. You can join our community on Facebook, which is awesome and connect with other like-minded people. Okay, so let's, now that I've kind of given you the quick tour, let's go ahead and go through and I'll show you how to set this up. Now, the first thing I want you guys, especially those of you who aren't using Teamsy to know, is you can get a free trial, free, at teamsy.com slash JP. You don't have to go to the slash JP, but it makes it easier because it's already set for you guys. Okay, teamsy.com, get a free trial. We don't ask for your credit card or anything. It's free for 30 full days, okay, full access. And that's because I believe 
two things. One, you'll fall in love with Teamsy if you use it for a month. That's why I give it to you free. But for those of you who are starting or don't have, don't have cash flow to invest in your business, I believe that a month of free Teamsy will generate that for you. Does that make sense? So um, that's, that's the cool thing. And you guys get a super, super duper discount because Juice Plus Corporate has negotiated with us to get you a better deal and, um, and has endorsed us for your use, which is pretty cool. Okay, so get the free trial started if you haven't done it yet, teamsy.com. When you first get into your free trial, the first thing you're gonna do is set this guy up, okay? So, it's gonna automatically drop you into a setup wizard, but you can always relaunch that setup wizard right here with this little cog wheel. Okay, and I'm gonna start this up for you. We'll go through it really quick. I'm gonna skip over some of it just for sake of time, but um, the, the main thing here that we're gonna do are these three things. We're gonna set your income goal, we're gonna help you create a powerful why, and we're gonna get your contacts into Teamsy, right? So let's do that really quick. Income goal, just put a number in this box. I put $150,000, this is my goal starting out for my first, you know, after 12 months. That's not that I'll have 150 grand in the bank in 12 months, it means that at, after working for 12 months, I will be at that monthly income level, make sense? So put in your goal, what's your goal? Where do you wanna be? Um, whatever your number is, put it in there. I put in 150, okay. By the way, this 150 is actually um, pretty low as far as the amount of work you need to do. It's just about being consistent. So the next page, what Teamsy does is it calculates how much activity I need to do to get to that number. And so they're telling me, it's telling me that I need to connect with 4,348 people over the next year. Okay, is that good? Is that high or low? What do you guys think? How many of you guys have already connected with 4,000 people? <laughs> Maybe not if you're not using Teensy, right? But here's the good news. When you need to eat an elephant, how do you do it? One bite at a time. So the next page breaks it down for us. It takes it into those three groups, prospects, customers, and distributors, and then it breaks it down all the way to daily. So if you take that big number and look at it daily, it's connected with nine prospects a day, six customers and four distributors, 19 people. Now, just to clarify, when I say connect, I don't mean anything complicated. I literally just mean connect to say hello and make their day. I call it the make someone's day mindset, okay? Write that down if you don't already know it. Get in the make someone's day mindset. Their goal of the connect is not to cold invite them to learn about your business, or try to get them to, you know, to do anything cheesy, like watch a video or try a product cold. That is like asking somebody, walking up to somebody you haven't seen in 10 years and asking them to marry you. Right? That's why the rejection is so high in this industry. It's crazy to think that people are going to go for that. Some people, some people will say yes to the marriage proposal, won't they? <laughs> and some people will say yes to your cold invite too. But most people will be kind of turned off by it. So all we're gonna do is say hello and make their day, okay? That's it, we just wanna say hello and make their day and reconnect, the, reconnect that relationship, make sense? Okay, let me get back in here. So those connect goals are just to make someone's day. Connect with nine people on my prospects list, six of my current customers. So you gotta be in touch with your customers, but you don't have to go deep in with scripts, you just say, hey, how are you? Is there anything I can do for you today, okay? And then your team. Stay in touch with your team, make their day. Now I've got a goal here of invites. When I say invite, now I mean you're gonna invite somebody to learn about your business. You're gonna invite somebody to try a product. You're gonna invite somebody to a three-way call. You're gonna invite somebody to an event. You're gonna invite somebody to one of those cool uh, salad in a jar parties that you guys do, whatever, okay? An invite is business specific and the result of the invite can be a sale or a recruit. Does that make sense? Okay. Now my goal for that is three. So I'm gonna connect with 19 people, I'm gonna start conversations. Out of those conversations, I'm hoping statistically about three out of the 19 will turn into a good conversation that I can invite somebody from. Does that make sense? Because of what I wanna do is uncover, we'll find out if they're interested in learning about it, and if they are, then I invite them. Make sense? Okay. And then your daily ads, these are new people that you're putting in your Teamsy, getting, just adding to your list, people that you're meeting, um, people that you're meeting online. Maybe they're people you already know that just aren't on your list, but the idea is that every day you're thinking of new people to add to your list. When you work relationship marketing, every single human being you know should be on your list. 
because your job is to build relationships with people and to help them. Does that make sense? And I want you guys to understand an important concept about this. Some people will never buy your product. Some people may tell you, I will never buy your product, but they should still be on your list. Why? Because they will bring other people to your product. They will become your advocates. When you serve them correctly, they will be your advocates. Does this make sense? A friend of mine has a hospice care company. Now, that's the kind of thing I hope, the kind of service I hope I don't need, right? And I'm not interested in purchasing right now. But absolutely will I advocate for him if somebody else is in need of that service. Does this make sense? This is the way we are. You got to start thinking of your business not as network marketing, but as what it is. The business that you're in and the problem that you solve. What is the problem you solve in your business? What, where, what part of this business is your passion from? Are you passionate about people's health? Are you, I know we've got a lot of nurses and doctors and stuff in this team, right? Is, are you passionate about preventing people from being sick? Are you passionate about, like, where's the passion line? What is the problem you specifically are passionate about? And let people know that. Is it weight loss? Is it uh, financial empowerment? So you identify what you're passionate about and then your job is to communicate that to people so they know you are the person that handles that in their sphere of influence. Does this make sense? Okay. Now, once these numbers, you can change these numbers, by the way. Teamsy made this suggestion based on my goal of 150,000. Now, let's say you're new and have no distributors. Fine, make that a zero and add those, that four over to your prospects number. Make sense? And if you've, same thing, if you've got no customers, let's say you're brand spanking new, then let's do 19. Make sense? Okay. You can change them to whatever you want. By the way, whenever you want to change your goals, you just come back to this page in the setup wizard and you change your goals to what you wanted. What was it, six and four? Let me put it back to what it was. And then when you click continue, it saves those and sets up your dashboard. So when I go back to my dashboard now, you can see those goals are set just as we were looking at them, okay? See, they're all zeros because I haven't done any work yet. I'll show you how that works. This will actually kind of keep score as you go, which is pretty neat, okay? All right, I'm gonna just jump back to where we were. We're on my why. Now, I was gonna slice out the my why part, um, Kathy, to save time, but I think it's important that I go over this. So I'm gonna do it really quick with everybody. Um, this, is a, this is a piece that, how many of you just, let me just see, I'm looking at your faces now. How many of you have a, a why statement that you've already gone through this process and have a written why statement that you look at? Okay, good job, okay, great. Let me see the next page. Do it again, hands up one more time. Oh, the back page are all the people that are making dinner and, and snoozing, their, their pictures are all. Okay, you, a lot of you guys have written why statements. Okay. So this is super important. You've gotta have the why statement or else you're in huge danger of quitting. In fact, the quit, ra the quit um, ratio, is that what I wanna say? The statistic for quitting is one out of two in the first year. Did you guys know that? One out of two people in this business quit the first year. It's amazing. Why would they quit? You know what? You know what's actually not, you know what's more amazing than that? That one out of two don't quit. That's actually more amazing because people quit more often than they don't. All of us do. We quit when things are hard, boring, dull, whatever. We just quit. And the only time we don't do that is when we have a reason to persist. We have a really strong reason why. I love the example of the why from um, Darren Hardy's book, uh, The Compound Effect. Who's read Compound Effect? You guys need to read that one. Look, how many of you have read book, Brian Tracy's books? Zig Ziglar's books, Jim Rohn's books? Okay, if you don't wanna read all those books, just read The Compound Effect because um, basically Darren Hardy was mentored by all those guys and he summed it all up in one work. <laughs> it's like the Reader's Digest version. But he talks about the why like this. He says, look, if I put a balance beam across the ground and I said, how many of you would walk across this balance beam for $20? Yeah, all of us would. It's easy, right? Now, if I took that balance beam and strung it across two 80-story sky skyscrapers, how many of you would shimmy across that balance beam for $20? Anybody? Bobby would do it because he's he is brave stud right there. Okay, now here's the question. If you had, if you're, how many of you are parents? Let me see your parents. 
just about everybody. Now, if the other 80-story building roof had your kids on it and that building was on fire, how quickly would you get across that balance beam to get your kids to safety? Absolutely. The difference is the why. That's the only difference. It's the why. We will do anything if the why is strong enough. And that is why you've got to figure out a why that works for you. How many of you guys have had days where you haven't felt like working on your business or connecting with people? How many of you are, don't really want to admit, but you're going to because you're good, honest people, that it happens more often than you wish? Yeah, that's the first clue that your why is not strong enough. Does this make sense? That's the first clue. Look, without going off too big on the tangent on this, I talk about this sometimes with my boot campers. Almost every, everybody that I can see raised their hand when I asked who has kids. Let me ask you guys a question. When was the last time you missed a day, you just like you didn't feed your kids any food for the whole day because you just missed it? When was the last time that happened? And anybody? I mean, okay, let me see. How many of you didn't feel like feeding your kids today? Couple? Yeah. They got on your nerves, you're irritated, whatever but you still did it every single time. You know what? Like I, I can honestly say that I haven't missed a single day with my kids their entire lives. What's the difference? But yet you miss days where you feed your business all the time, don't you? The why with your kids is clear. Do you guys see this? The why is clear. Now, that's why we go through this process. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how easy this is. It, you don't have to go to Sedona and get in a sweat lodge to figure out your why. Though, some of you might enjoy that. I don't know. But if you're like me, I struggled against it for so many years because I felt like it was going to be hard like that. Um, my, my, my mentor and partner, Mike and I, we've been to like every training ever. And we've kind of simplified this process. Let me just show you. We put it in Teams it so that it's there for you to work through on your own and to lead your teams through. Basically, right here in the Setup Wizard, there's five questions. They're thinking questions just to get you thinking. Okay. I'll take you through my story really quick as an example, and then we'll dive into Teamsy. But I just want to take you through this so you have an example. Why did you become a distributor? Now, in my case, I wasn't a Juice Plus distributor. I was a Beachbody coach for a while, but it's similar. It's health and um, it's health oriented, you know, similar to what you guys are doing. I joined that business because um, they helped me lose 60 pounds. I felt healthy and vibrant for the first time in years. And people were asking me all day long, what are you doing? And I was telling them, I wasn't getting paid. How many of you guys were telling people about Juice Plus be long before you were a distributor? Yeah. My wife says, dummy, go sign up and be a distributor so you can get uh, some money for all those people you're sending their way. So I did. I didn't have a big goal. I didn't have a deep dream. Um, what did you hope to accomplish? Next question. I just wanted to make $500 a month, extra money. I just wanted a little bit of extra money coming in. I thought that would be nice. By the way, how many of you guys are in it for extra money? Extra money is a dangerous goal because extra means you, you don't need it. That, that take, right? Okay. That's all right. We're going to get there. Why is that important to you? Next question. Why is that important to you? I chose the number 500 because I wanted to put $500 a month in my ba bank account. I wanted to save it. I just wanted to save it. If you go through this with a team member and they give you a number like, could I make $300 or could I make $400? Ask them why that number? Because they probably have a reason. Maybe they haven't thought of it. In my case, I wanted to put $500 a month in the bank. Now, just to give you a little background, for years, we, put, we had $500 a month that auto-transferred when I got paid. It auto-transferred into our savings account. Now, my job, I worked for a large coaching company. We coached business people, mostly real estate folks. And then when the recession hit, do you guys remember the Great Recession? How many of you guys are still licking your wounds from that one? Real estate disappeared like overnight for a while. And certainly nobody was paying coaches. Basically, everybody I knew, including myself, were laid off and had to go figure it out. And, you know, um, that $500 a month transfer was immediately turned off. Make sense? And we used up all the savings we had. And, um, you know, by God's good grace, we made it through that recession intact. It was, everything worked out fine, but it was really a, kind of a scary couple of years. And um, afterwards, as, as the industry stabilized and I got back into that career again, we just weren't saving money. We were just living paycheck to paycheck. Anybody relate to that? Paycheck to paycheck is a very scary existence. 
because a couple missed paychecks and everything comes, everybody comes after you, right? So I thought, wow, this is a great opportunity for me to put some money in the bank. Make sense? All right, next question. What would achieving this mean for you and your family? What would achieving this mean for you and your family? What I wanted to do most was buy a new house for my family. I wanted a new house for my family. We'd outgrown our home. We, my wife and I, we have four kids. Um, at the time, we had two very large dogs. We have one now. Does that happen? That's part of life too, right? And um, we were on top of each other. There was nowhere to go in our house. We were completely jammed in. And I dreamt of being home, building my own business at home. There was nowhere to even work. Forget it. We didn't even have our own room, my wife and I. We shared with the baby. <laughs> the nursery was the master bedroom in our house. So I dreamt of having a new house, and it was, seemed like a long way dream because, because of the recession, we were upside down on our mortgage, more than six figures. So we would have had to pay six figures to move. And um, so it was, it was challenging, but I thought, wow, if I could just put that $500 a month in the bank every month, that would be a beginning towards that. Does this make sense? Listen, in five minutes, I went mentally from okay, sure, I guess sign me up to, could this really get us a new home? It got me thinking. Next question. This is the final thinking question. Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? How many of you guys think buying a home is a meaningful goal? Or is it more, it could be, right? I was kind of feeling guilty about it, to be honest with you. Um, I was feeling guilty about it because I felt like it was, a little bit um, materialistic, right? So as I started thinking about this, this process, by the way, is to get you to think about your suppressed thoughts. Because how many of you guys just feel like you're just trying to survive sometimes? Yeah, well, when you're in survival mode, you're not thinking about what you really want in life. You're thinking about surviving. Does it make sense? And that's where I was. And so what happened is I started thinking about this and really thinking about it. I realized that it wasn't my house that was the problem, though I would like a new house. I, the problem was my family. Not that there was something wrong with my family. It's just that I wasn't really a part of it. I really wasn't present. This was my biggest struggle was that I'd always dreamt of being a dad, and here I was a dad that never saw my kids. I was always working. I see a couple of you guys relating to this. I would get up in the morning and kiss, say goodbye to my kids. They're still in their pajamas. I'd go to work, and I was doing what I felt like I was supposed to do, which was providing for them, right? That's what dads do, right? Or that's what parents do. They provide for their kids. I'd get home in the evening. They were already in pajamas again getting ready for bed. I was kind of like the good morning and good night daddy, you know, and I realized that I was going to miss their entire childhood and not be a part of it, and there was nothing I could change because even though I was at the top of my career, we still were living paycheck to paycheck. I couldn't do any better than I was doing in my career. Does this make sense? How many of you guys have a career where you feel like you're pretty successful in your career and you love what you do and you're well respected? Anybody? That was me. But yet I looked at my career and I said, this is never going to get me the life I want. Does this make sense? So I started looking at my side hustle, this little $500 a month extra business that I had just taken on in a new light. And a switch flipped when I started going through these five questions. Here's what I realized. Even though I loved my career, I loved the respect and the cool office and all that stuff that I had. <laughs> as lame as that is, we like that stuff, don't we? I realized that if I really wanted the life I wanted, I needed to look at my network marketing business differently. And here's what I did. I switched my perspective. I stopped thinking of my network marketing business as my extra money. And I started thinking of my career salary as my extra money. I said, you know what's so cool about this is that these guys are gonna pay me six-figure salary to build my network marketing business. How awesome is that? How many of you guys would like to be paid a six-figure salary or to build your network marketing business? Start thinking, you, some of you already are. Now, yeah, you gotta give nine, 10 hours a day to those guys, but you only need an hour a day to build your own empire, honestly. Seriously, I'll show you that in a minute. Here's what happened to me. I wrote my very first why statement going through this process. I'm gonna share it with you really quick and I want you to know what happened when I wrote it. This is it, it's the sample text in Teams you're gonna write yours right over the top of mine. My why, to create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family 
and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and full of energy. That was my why. Now, look, once you write a why that you feel in your gut, it changes everything, okay? It convicts you. There will be days where you don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like doing my teams today. I don't feel like connecting with people today. And your why will smack you in the face if you wrote a good one. Oh, so you want to stay stuck where you are? You don't want to be with your kids? You want to be worried about getting laid off and live paycheck to paycheck for the rest of your life? That's what I felt like if I didn't do it now. This makes sense? Whereas once I saw what I was working towards, it drove me. It motivated me. I was excited to do it. And a um, couple things happened, just so you guys know. Within three months of writing this down, I left my corporate career, which was really scary. My wife was like, what are we going to do for money? I said, we're just going to, we're going to take a leap of faith. I'm excited about this. Here's what, do you guys know the story? Kathy, did I ever tell a story about my shed? She's never heard this story. So this is good. Have, a couple of you have heard it. A couple of you have heard it. So I had, um, somehow I managed to get myself fired the week I was going to quit. It was, it was beautiful. It, this is God's providence, right? This is God's providence. So, um, not fired, released, you know? So there was a new CEO of my company. We didn't, we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. He's, he was a um, Jack Welsh disciple, hardcore corporate America, and I was take care of your people and your people will run, will take you far kind of leader. And so I needed to go. We were a conflict, but it was perfect because I was gonna leave anyways. So somehow I managed to get fired and get a little bit of a severance. Just, just enough, right? Just enough. It was just enough money to go buy a new Mac because I needed a computer. 15 years, I'd never had my own computer or my own cell phone. So it had been provided to me. I went out and got a new computer and I had no, I told you I had nowhere to work in my house. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I bought a shed. You know the ones that are in the parking lot of Home Depot? The ones you put your lawnmower in, like with the little holes in the wall to hang things on? I bought one of those. I had, I had it put in my backyard on the dirt because I couldn't afford a concrete slab. And I drilled a hole in the wall and ran an extension cord through that hole from my house right across the dirt ground. And I threw my Mac in that shed and I started building my business. We called it the shed quarters. Um, and my kids called it daddy shuffus. I had a little space heater in there cause it was freezing cold. I'd start work at like four in the morning and um, not as cold as where some of you live. I know I live in Southern California, but still, it's still cold. Okay, if it's below 68 degrees, it's too cold for us. And if it's above 72, it's too hot. That's just, that's just our life. So um, I'll show you a picture of this. Check this out. I put, um, so you can see here I am. This is actually one of my, this is my mentor and business partner, Mike Lopez, coming over to check it out. And in the background, you can see on that whiteboard, we're brainstorming a new idea that I was coming up with called Teamsy. Pretty cool, right? How, guess how long ago that was? Three years. Three years ago. Pretty crazy, right? The why, this is why I'm talking about it tonight. The why made all the difference. A lot of you guys raised your hands that you have written whys. I, I applaud you for that. You also told me that there's a lot of days you don't feel like working and you, and you blow it off. That means to me that you need to go a little deeper into your why. Maybe, look, none of you have missed a day feeding your kids. Maybe you need to pull them into it a little bit more, <laughs> right? It's all good. So um, what you do here at Teamsy is you write your why statement in that last box. Where'd it go? Where'd you go, Teamsy? Here we go. The very last box where you see my letter, my why, you just write yours over the top. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. There we go. You write yours over the top. And then when you click continue, it publishes it to your dashboard. Make sense? So it's there to read every day. I recommend that every day you log into Teamsy and read your why out loud to yourself. Um, though logging into Teamsy every day is ideal, you may even want to write your why down on a piece of paper. Or if you guys are, you know, um, really um, particular, you can print it out with beautiful font and tape it to the mirror in your bathroom. Okay? Why? Because I know you're going to be there at least twice a day. The mirror to your bathroom is the most powerful place in your, in, your, in your home. Do you guys know this? You're there twice a day and you do things, you do subconscious physical movements there. 
this is a whole nother, this is a whole nother training I wasn't even going to do. Okay, I won't go deep. But there's science behind this. If you do some sort of repetitive physical movement while looking at your why, while looking at affirmations or goals, you can program your brain faster to accept those and get working on them. So every morning, you guys do at least one thing, right? How many of you brush your teeth every morning and every evening? Yeah, so if while brushing your teeth, you're looking at your why, it's going to program quicker into your brain. See, your why lives in your heart. You need to program it into your brain. Does this make sense? How many of you guys have ever heard the term follow your heart? Yeah, that's a bunch of baloney. You follow your brain. Your brain leads you everywhere. You want to follow your heart. So in order to follow your heart, you have to figure out what's in your heart and you have to program it into your brain. Your brain runs the show. If you don't believe me, think about the time you got home, you drove into your driveway, and you don't remember driving home. How many of that's happened to you? Let me see. Yeah, that is your brain literally driving your car. And you don't think it's running where you, how you're doing financially and in relationships and everything else. It's doing, it's, it's keeping you safe based on the parameters you fed it. That's what your brain does. It keeps you safe based on the parameters you set. If you want to get to a new level in your life, you have to give it new parameters and we start by programming this why in. Make sense? Okay. There's, I do a full comprehensive course on goal setting that's free in Teams and University. You guys should go. I recommend you go and take that right now. Beginning of the year, it's a great time to do it. Those of you who do boot camp, I know we're going to talk about it at the end. I require you to take that course um, during prep week so that you have clear goals coming into boot camp. Okay. All right. I know, Kathy, I said I was going to go fast. Here I am going off on tangents. It's okay. Is this valuable for you guys? Raise your hand if you're bored. No, don't really. Don't really. Don't, oh, I'm going to cry now, Bobby. It's okay. Last step is getting your contacts into Teamsy. Okay. Um, there's some videos here to help you, but look, I'm going to show you guys how to do this the easiest way. What you're going to do is just go over to the help center. Okay. And um, there's some videos, but I like that personally, I mean, I like the step-by-step instructions myself so if you go to faqs look how to import my team customers from back office great sometimes the internet connection is slower when you're in a zoom so you're going to pick young uh, young living juice plus okay and then look here's your step-by-step -step, how to get your distributors list how to get your customers list how to import it into teamsy okay if any of this is too technically difficult what you do is you just get your list from your um from back office okay and then you just email to Teamsy, support at teamsy.com. You can click this little, oh wait, I'm not sharing my screen anymore. Let me go back there. There's a little help button that's on every page in Teamsy. You can click that, drop your files on it, and send it to us. And we'll do it for you. That's for those of you who are technically challenged like me. Same thing with your Facebook friends. Look, here it is right here. Here's the directions on how to do it, step by step by step. And again, if you run into trouble, you just click this help button. My team will help you with it. This is the only technical thing you need to know to do Teamsy is getting your people in to start, okay? And my team will walk, walk you through that, so don't worry about it. Once you've got everybody in Teamsy, there's one more step for setup that's really important. See, in relationship marketing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in contact with every single person we know, okay? We're gonna stay in regular contact with them. Why? Because when you're in regular contact with people, you can actually build a relationship with them. Make sense? So we're just gonna stay in touch with people. Now, you guys need to understand an important concept. And some of you know this. Have you, how many have heard of the 80-20 rule? Yeah, see, you guys are well-read. You are one group of well-read people. 80% of your business will come from 20% of your relationships, okay? 80% of your business will come from 20% of your relationships. Just like 80% of the production on your team will come from 20% of your distributors. It just works that way. So here's the deal. You should talk to those 20% that bring 80% of your business more often. You need to talk to the best people more often. Make sense? Yeah. And you prioritize your relationships so you can prioritize your time. So how we do it in Teamsy is this. We give people a rating, like a star rating. Five stars is awesome. One star. Now you're not saying they're not awesome people. You're just saying, <laughs> you're just saying they're most likely to support your business. Make sense? All right. So let me show you how this works. 
you can see that everybody has a number next to them. That's their star ranking. Now, if I go over to the team page where everybody lives, what we do is this will automatically bring you here when you do a bulk import, like you bring a list in, but it'll turn on rank mode. I'm going to turn it on right now from this little menu right here. Rank mode lets you go down the list all at once and rank people. So like if I wanted Lusa to be a five, I just click on five. Okay. If I wanted to be a two, boom. Now, this isn't as big a job as it looks because everybody comes in as a three star. You just need to find your fours and fives. This is really important though. You gotta do this. Let me, let me just give you the definitions. A five star is somebody most likely to become a customer or distributor, or they're already on your team, they're already a customer, or they're one of your, that are rock stars, or they're your favorite people, your best friends, your closest family. Those five star people come up on your list every 30 days. If you have 12 of those, you are well networked. You guys may think you have more, but after you connect with somebody every 30 days for three months in a row, you're like, oh, that's really often. <laughs> three, four stars, that's somebody likely to become a customer distributor with a little nurturing. They're your good friends, your, your pretty good family relationships. They show up every 60 days, okay? Three stars, most people are a three star on your list because they can go either way you don't know yet. Three star people come up every 90 days. Okay, so you don't have to worry about them falling through the cracks. Teamsy will bring them up automatically based on their star rank. They'll always come up and come up onto your up next list. Does this make sense? Two stars is getting into 120 days, getting a little bit colder. Okay, so once you go down your list and rank these, you can also always rank as you go. They, this auto saves, by the way, you don't have to save or anything. You can change people's ranks as they come up as well. Um, but you want to go through it one time so that it creates your list for you. Now, once you've ranked them, now Teamsy will tell me who's up next. I don't ever have to worry about what, who to call or who to connect with or who to talk to. I just look at Teamsy every day and go with it. Make sense? Okay, so let me show you how this works. Let's do a power hour together. The first person on my prospects list is Kathy. What do you guys think? You think she'll be a good prospect? I'm going to, I'm going to, say hello to her and I want to make her day. That's it. Now, some of you will get stuck on this. Oh my gosh, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? What am I going to say? I used to do the same thing. I used to stare at my screen and spend two hours and talk to two people, right? Over time, I figured out is keeping it simple works best. And so I created some very simple scripts to start conversations. And I, and I put them in Teamsy for you, by the way. My entire scripts library is in here in Teamsy. We were going to charge $100 for you to add the scripts library and we decided just to include it. Check this out, I'm gonna open it up for you. I'm gonna grab a Facebook script, and um, I'll just grab the first one there, connect number one. Here's what it says, hi Jane, just stopping by to say hello, how are you? I hope your day is awesome. Great, I'm gonna copy that script. What I'll do is I'm gonna paste it into Teamsy so I can edit it, right? I gotta change the name, right? Put an emoticon or two on there. I do believe in liberal emoticon uses. Okay, great. So now I've got it just the way I want it. Now what I'm going to do is you can't actually send a Facebook message or a text from Teams. You got to go to the app to do it. So I've got Facebook open right here and I'm just going to look her up. I copied that. It's like, wow, I know a lot of Kathy's. This is you, right? Turner Murphy. Okay. There she is. Look, you look just like your picture. She looks just like her picture. Nobody looks like their picture. It's all good. I'm gonna send her this message. Got it ready to go. Boom, there it is. Hi, Kathy, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? Hope your day's awesome. Send. Great. Now you can edit that a little to make it sound like you. If it doesn't, no big deal. I'll toggle back to Teamsy and then I'm gonna finish logging that in, in Teamsy so it's logged. That was a Facebook message. See the big blue button that says log connect? That's how you log it. Okay. Now I've got one done, eight to go. Next person on my list is Jay. I'll probably just use that same script. It's already on my clipboard and paste it right in here. Change the name to Jay. Just stopped him by to say hello. This is what I meant in the beginning of, the, of our call tonight when I said, when you're new to Teamsy, you can actually do your power hour super fast because we're just sending these outgoing messages to start conversations. Look, I'm gonna go back to Facebook, send that message to Jay. Poor Jay. How many of you guys have met Jay? She works with Teamsy. Yeah, she's awesome. She's awesome. Not only that, but she gets this message from me 18 times a day as I'm demonstrating this thing for, for three years now. 
All right, boom. So I sent the message to Jay, right? Sent, and again, I'm gonna log it in Teamsy by clicking the big blue log connect button. Now I've got two done, seven to go. I'm gonna do the same thing with Brandy, then Charlene, then Julianne, then Evangel Evangelia. Make sense? Just gonna send them messages to start conversations just to make their day. Now, here's what I want you guys to understand. I would say the response rate's about 50%, okay? Which means you're sending these messages, 50% of them, no response. How many of you guys that's happened to you and you're like, what do I do now? Here's what you do now, nothing. If you're using Teamsy, they come back two, three months again, you message them again. If they don't respond, don't worry about them. Focus on the ones that do, okay? So in this example, if I'm messaging nine prospects a day and four or five respond and, and four or five don't, I'm only worried about the ones that respond. Your pipeline will be so unbelievably full of conversations from the few who respond if you do this consistently for just like five days in a row, right? Kathy's like, oh my gosh, yes. I'll just give you guys an example. I was doing, a, I did a live uh, video today, Q&A with a couple bootcamp alums about bootcamp. And one of the girls who was gonna be on the call, she's a unique, she does unique makeup. Anybody you know unique makeup? She crushed it in bootcamp. Um, and she was, she missed the call. And she messaged me later. She says, I am so sorry. I got like, <laughs> how many she got like 150 messages on from different people on Facebook Messenger today and I missed your message she's blown up her that's a good problem to have right she, her business is blown up because of all the all of the um, just connecting with people that she's done so you're gonna be connecting with people the people who don't respond don't worry about them now another thing I want to help you with this on this power hour is some people will respond instantly and you'll want to go go run off and have the conversation with them now don't go back to that conversation until you've sent all your messages and finished your power hour, okay? Because otherwise you may never get back to it. And if you stay focused, it won't be that long before you can get back to that conversation. Make sense? So we're gonna go down our prospects list until we've completed our goal for the day, okay? We're gonna keep going down. And this blue circle will continue to fill up and our goal is nine. So when this number turns to nine, it'll be done and I'll go to the next list. I'll start working on my customers, okay? I'm gonna connect with them the same way. If you need help getting started, again, I've put scripts in here for you, okay? There's some great scripts for getting recommendations, great results script. Um, here's a you know basic one, how are you enjoying the product? Send me an update, let me know how I can be of help. Great. Um, or this one I love, hi Jane, just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day, okay? Same thing, copy the script, edit it in Teamsy, send it in Facebook, send it text, however you wanna send it. I like Facebook Messenger as my number one mode because it has the best response rate and um, it helps them interact more with your posts on Facebook. Okay, so I'm gonna go down my customer list. Now, real quick on this, I want you guys to understand one important concept. Connecting with customers is as important, sometimes even more important than prospecting. Okay, how many of you wish at this point you were in better touch with your customers? Yeah, good, now you know how to do it. Use Teamsy. <laughs> but let me give you the reasons why. First, the reason you wish you were in better con contact is because you know it's the right thing to do. It's called good service, right? And you wanna provide that. It's part of your integrity as a business owner is to provide good service. But here's the, here are the other good reasons. When you're in regular contact with somebody, statistically, they order more products, okay? They order more products. They just order more. Hey, I'm glad you reached out. I would notice that you, you know, what, should I be using this as well? <laughs> that was my favorite question. I saw your post on Facebook. Should I be using that product? Why, why haven't you offered that product to me yet? Okay, they'll order more if you're in touch with them. They will, they, they will be more engaged with your social posts if you're in touch with them, and they will order more. The other thing is they will retain longer on their auto orders, okay? On their auto renewals. They retain longer statistically. How many of you would like to see People order more and retain longer. All you have to do is stay in regular contact. That's it. And you don't have to have a complicated contact system like, I need to call them three days before their shipment and I need to ask them. That stuff is lame. I'm sorry. You don't need to do that. It's overcomplicated. Um, you just put them in Teamsy. When they come up, just say, you know, hey, how are you? <laughs> 
It's been a while since I connected with you. What are you up to? How's everything going? Is there anything I can do for you today? Okay, just stay in contact with them. Does this make sense? That's all you have to do. It's so funny. Um, I had a young lady in our, in our um, second quarter boot camp who did amazing. She's actually a rocket scientist. And I didn't know that, right? She does Rodana Fields. I didn't know she was a rocket scientist. Um, I just knew that she did Rodana Fields. And she's like, hey, can we talk? I'm, I'm really confused about the system. So I jump on a call with her, like a Zoom, and she says, okay, so here's what I'm doing. I've got them set. So I need to set up Teamsy so that I can connect with them on the 13th day after their first order. And on the 12th day after the, she went through this like convoluted thing, right? And I said, oh my gosh, you sound like one of my engineers. She goes, I am an engineer. I was like, oh, later I found out that that was a humble way of saying she's a rocket scientist. She built rockets for the Air Force and does skincare on the side. Isn't it cool who we meet in this business? I said, you're overcomplicating it. Just put them in Teams and when they come up, say hello. She was like, really? Yeah, that's it. Does this make sense, you guys? Some of you guys are like, I like my complicated system. I'm just telling you, let's make your life easier. Get you out to enjoy yourself more, okay? Um, so um, hey, that was an easy one. It told me right who, who was unmuted. It was perfect. So don't overcomplicate it. Connect with your customers. Now, the third most important reason to be in touch with customers is this. How many of you, let me just see, show of hands, you've got at least one great customer. Just about everybody. Some of you just don't like raising your hands. You're just those free-spirited kind of people, and that's okay. Okay, how many of you would like more customers like that person? Great. Where do you get them? Do you know where to go? Do they teach this at conference? Where to get those customers? You get the, let me just, it, it, I'm going to state the obvious. You can go, oh, I've heard this before, but it's so true. You need to be reminded more than taught. The best source for a new customer is a current customer. The best source for a new customer is a current customer. We spend a whole, actually in the bootcamp, we spend a whole week on this skill. Current customer, people who are using products, what do they do? They talk about it. They're excited, right? That's probably why most of you are here tonight because that was you. They're talking about it. The stats are 82% of North Americans look to friends or family before making a purchasing decision. They look to their recommendation. And we know that 85% of all sales in the United States is by word of mouth. Isn't that crazy? So what does that tell us? It tells us the best place to go find new customers is your current customers. They're already talking to people. They're already recommending it to people. They have people right now. I guarantee you right now, your customers have other people ready to purchase right now. The question is, are you in regular contact with them? Are you getting introduced to those people they're talking to? Okay, and there's a little bit of skill in getting in those introductions. You have to ask for those introductions. But what people will do is they will go buy it. Um, one of my employees was telling me how much she enjoys uh, her Juice Plus capsules. And I said, oh my gosh. I said, well, who did, you, who did you get them from? She goes, I just went on the website and did it. Guess what? Nobody ever asked her. Doesn't that make you guys mad? Don't get mad at me. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I know better. But my point is, is that's what people do. You got to be getting, you got to be in touch with your customers on a regular basis. You got to get introduced to the people. Just ask them, hey, is there anybody you know of that could benefit from learning more about this? Great. Can you introduce them to me and I'll get them some information. That's all. I know you're doing great with these. Is there anybody you care about that needs these, needs information on this? I'll get it to them. Just introduce me. Don't say, tell them about me. Say, introduce me to them. Make sense? And they don't need to come over to your house for dinner. They just need to do a group text. Annie, meet my friend Eric. Eric, meet my friend Annie. That's it. You with me? Yeah, some of you guys are going, oh, that was worth waiting all this time just for that. I will tell you, uh, I probably shouldn't, but okay, I'll tell you real quick. I got to tell the story. So what are you doing, Zoom? Zoom sending these weird dialogues up. You guys still see me and hear me? Okay, good. So when I, when I was a brand new Beachbody coach, I don't know, how many of you guys have been in network marketing for years? Yeah, a lot of you. I could learn a lot from you guys. I hope you guys will join boot camp so I can learn from you. Honestly, I came into this knowing nothing about it. And um, all I knew was 
what I'm teaching you. I knew how to connect with people. I knew how to do it systematically. And I knew how to find people's needs and help so solve them. And so I started out with my Beachbody career and I, my mentor, who's a friend of mine, really wasn't in the business. So I didn't really have anybody mentoring me. And I just went and did my thing. I didn't even understand the comp plan. I just figured if I got a bunch of people doing it, I'd get paid, right? So I went in and I started going in. And, and within my first month, I had gotten to a certain rank where it was considered leadership. And, they, and corporate called me and they put me in a group of other leaders to synergize. You guys do the same thing, I think, right? And you have one of the salespeople from corporate leading the group. So I get in this group and everybody is five, six years in the business. They're all these super pros. They understand everything. I don't know anything or I don't think I know anything. And they say, everybody take a training topic. Well, I was late to the call. So I got the one nobody wanted, which was recruiting, right? And I had never recruited anybody, though I was signing people up to my business a lot. So well, guess what I taught? I taught how to, get new, how to get current customers to bring you new people to your team. They thought I was the biggest weirdo in the world. They're like, well, what's your Instagram strategy? What are you doing on, you know, how are you doing this? And what about this? And I was like, that, that stuff sounds cool. Can you teach me all that? I just do this. And here's what I've realized talking to um, now training over a hundred thousand network marketers of the last three years is here's what I've realized. There's no system better than this. Connecting with people one-on-one -on -one, building relationships. They bring people who trust you. It's so much better and easier. Does this make sense? Okay. Let's get back in here really quick. Haha. -ha, and I got my new house. <laughs> Last step, last group here is distributors. You need to connect with your team, right? It's called Teensy. They need that personal relationship with you. Having a team page, doing live Zooms, that's great. But your, your people that you bring on, mm -hmm. even as your team grows large, they need to hear from you personally, okay? You guys just need to understand. You know, as you do a lot of reading and studying, as I have, um, I've done a lot of studying on social science and how people are motivated in the workplace. They are not motivated by money. People are not money motivated. They think they are. People, are. people don't want to be worried about money. They're not money motivated. They're relationship motivated. They will work harder and they will stay in the business longer for the relationship they have with you and the team. It's your job to create that. So you just use Teams and stay in touch. Let them hear from you one-on-one, -on -one, a message. Hey, I'm proud of you. Hey, I saw you sign somebody up. Hey, I saw that your volume went up. Good for you. Congratulations. Okay? I saw that you had a new baby. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, your new puppy is adorable. Whatever. Let people know you care. Take the time. Make sense? All right. Last step here on a power hour is your follow-ups. See that last list is follow-ups. But when you get there, you're going to find it's empty. You have to put people in follow-ups. So your, your up next list, prospects, customers, distributors, that's automatic. Everyone's constantly cycling through. That's so you stay in touch with people. Now what happens is I'm generating these conversations, right? As I'm generating conversations, my goal in the conversation is to find a way to help this person. Okay. Hopefully I can do it with my business, but otherwise I just want to help them. My goal is to invest in the relationship. Why? Because I want to create an advocate out of every person I talk to. I want every person I talk to to become my advocate. An advocate is worth more than a customer and it's worth more than a distributor. An advocate will bring you, well, an advocate who becomes a distributor is really good, right? but an advocate will bring you multiple people. They know they will connect people to you, okay? So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna just outline this really briefly for you, but um, have a conversation. Listen for wants and needs, ask questions. Try to find a way to help them. Maybe they just need um, a recommendation for something, right? They need a house painter or a new dentist. Maybe they need, um, someone to pray with them because they're going through something difficult. I don't know. It'll, you'll find out as you talk to people what they need. Just help them however you can. Okay. Sometimes people will say, I've been watching you and I need help with my health. Great. That's an easy one. Great. Well, let's talk. You have a, you have a minute to talk. Let's jump on the phone and talk about it. Okay. Typically though, that doesn't always happen. Those are easy ones that happen every once in a while. Typically what will happen is you're just having a conversation. And the truth is, is they may be really skeptical because they know that you're doing juice plus and they're waiting for it. <laughs> right? And so what you need to do is just have a conversation, find a way to help them. And, and here's how I recommend you do it. When you're having a conversation, catching up with somebody, 
they, they tell you what they're up to and you tell them what you're up to, right? Well, when you tell them what you're up to, you need to tell them what you do and why you're passionate about it. Write that down. What I do and why I'm passionate about it. What I do and why I'm passionate about it. Okay. And when you tell them, and, and, and usually it's because of your story, right? Now, in my story, there was a bunch of pieces. I lost a bunch of weight. I regained my health. I regained my energy. I get, got to be home with my kids and my wife. I got to get rid of the boss who was a big jerk. I got to not be worried about money anymore. Those were different stories that I could tell based on what I'm hearing from people. Does it make sense? And so I would tell them, oh my gosh, you know, what about you, Eric? What have you been up to? I know it's been a long time, but you know, I lost 60 pounds recently. I feel amazing. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, the best part is now I found I'm really good at helping other people do it. It's, it's become a passion for me. And so I've, I've aligned myself with this company so that I can help as many people as I can. Wow, that's cool. How many of you guys have had somebody say, wow, that's cool you're doing Juice Plus when you told them? If you, if you tell them that it's your passion, why it, why, what it is you're doing and why you're passionate about it, that's, that'll be their response, okay? And well, how's that going for you? Oh, it's going great. And then I might tell them, you know, the best part is I get to be home with my kids because maybe they told me they wish they were home with their kids. The best part is, you know, um, I, don't have to list, I don't have to listen to the boss who doesn't know what he's talking about anymore. I get to be the boss. And if I have a problem with him, I got to go look in the mirror, right? Or whatever, whatever the case may be, I'm having this conversation. And when people are, ha are engaging in that conversation, the easiest way to find out if they're interested is you just ask them, you know, Kathy, let me ask you, would you be interested in, are you interested in learning more about it? Would you like to learn more about it? Would you like more information about what I'm doing? That's it. You just ask them that. Now, here's why this is so cool. Some of you are like, oh, I feel a little awkward with that. But you know what? If you do it like this, it's not awkward. Then what happens is they say, yeah, I'd like a little bit more information. Great. Now I'm going to invite them to something. I'm going to show you how to do that in Teamsy. And I'm going to put on my follow-ups list. Make sense? And if they say, no, thank you. I'm not really interested right now. Great. Awesome. Now, now you have a chance to plant a seed with that person. Because remember, our job is to make everybody an advocate. Did you write that down? My job is to make everybody my advocate. It's pretty good. You guys are basically getting boot camp level training tonight. I'm going, that's because I'm so excited about my new boot camp. I'm kind of going off on it tonight. The people who say no, you say, could you do me a favor? Kristen, could you do me a favor? If you come across anybody who needs help with their health, with their fitness, with their vitality, anyone who's struggling with this, I would love to help them. Could you just connect us so I could get them some more information? Okay. And you'll get it. You'll get that toned down to like a little thing you can fire off as a message. And they'll say, guess what they would say? Guess what Kristen's, because she's already smiling at me. She's going to she's say, absolutely, Eric. I'll definitely do that. Now, look, even if she's just saying that to be polite to me, I have literally implanted in her brain a willingness to help me build my business. She told me I'm not interested in your business. And then she told me she'd help me build her business, build my business. And that's where we leave the conversation. When she comes back on my Teamsy dashboard three months from now, Guess what she's going to start doing, though, in the meantime? She's going to be watching my posts and checking out, watching what I'm doing. And she comes back on my Teamsy uh, dashboard three months from now, and I say, hey, Kristen, it's been, been a while since I checked in with you. How's everything going? What have you been up to? And we're connecting now. Each time we connect, it's a little bit warmer relationship. Make sense? And we're planting those seeds, planting those seeds. Some people right away will be interested. Other people will take time to build trust. But you don't have to spend a lot of time on them. They cycle through Teams. You connect. You move on. You connect. You move on. They come back. Now, in the case where she says, uh, yeah, I'm interested in learning more, let me show you to do that in Teamsy real quick. Then we'll do some, uh, we'll some Q&A. And one of you guys asked me about bootcamp on one of the first questions, and I'll, and I'll tell you all about that. <laughs> okay, because I know a couple of you put in the, in the text in the chat already that you want to do that. So here's what I do. Um, I'm going to make it Kathy because Kristen's not actually in my teensy. So Kathy says she's interested in more information. She's not on my dashboard anymore, so I have to look her up in that lookup bar I showed you. That brings me to her record. I open that connect box. Now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to invite her. So as we're talking, yes, I'd like some more information. Great. Now I'm going to invite her to something. So I've got a few choices here. I can share a video. I can get her on a three-way call with myself and a leader. Maybe she wants to try some products, come to an event I'm hosting. Um, let's say, this is my example I like to use. Great, Kathy, perfect timing. Are you going to be around tonight? Are you going to be home tonight? Yes, I am. Perfect. We're actually doing a virtual event on Facebook Live tonight. Do you think you could tune in? You can be in your pajamas. It's fine. Sure. Okay, great. I'll send you the link. What we'll do is we're going to go through a few people. We'll be sharing their stories. We'll go over what the opportunity is, and you'll get a good feel for what we're doing from the comfort of your own bedroom. Sound good? Just great. Good. I'm going to send you the link right now, Kathy. And then what I will do is I'll connect with you tomorrow and see if you have any questions. Sound good? She sounds great. So I'm having this conversation with her. Now I'm going to do it in Teamsy. I'm going to go and click on invite. I'm going to log that, let's say, business opportunity meeting. I'm going to put a note that it was a Facebook Live event. You guys do that sometimes? Yeah, they're great. And I'm going to Facebook message her that link. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow up. See this little, this little uh, calendar here thing drop down? This is your follow-up. you got to set the follow-up. Setting a follow-up puts her on my follow-ups list. It moves her off my prospects list and puts her on my follow-up list. So I'm going to follow up tomorrow because that's what I told her. Now here's a little training tip for you. Always tell people you will follow up and tell them when you will follow up and do it. Okay? Because psychologically, you're keeping a promise to them. That's your first thing that you're doing that shows how trustworthy you are. You make a promise and keep it. I will check in with you tomorrow to see if you have any questions. And then I put her on my dash on my list for tomorrow, log the connect. Now, now see the follow-up is now set. If I go back to my dashboard and go to my follow-ups list, Kathy's there, set for tomorrow. Does this make sense? So tomorrow, I turn on Teamsy. I go to my prospects. I connect with the next nine prospects, which is my goal. And then I go to my customers. I connect with the next six customers, which is my goal. Yours might be different. Then I connect with my distributors. Then I go to my follow-ups list and I see who's due. Tomorrow, this will be due. And I need to follow up with her. So what I'll do is go to scripts and use one of Eric's follow-up scripts. I put 10 of them in here, by, by the way, in order numbered for you. For those of you who hate following up, look at this, follow-up number one. Hi, Jane, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? Copy that script, paste it in Kathy's box here, change the name. I, do, I like to do the editing in Teamsy because I used to do it in Facebook and sometimes send the wrong name. I've done it a few times. I, my arms and legs didn't fall off and it was fine, but you know, it's better not to do that. So again, I'll go, I'll toggle over to Facebook real quick, send her that message. Okay, got it ready to go. I do the copy and pasting super fast now because I'm just used to doing it. Okay, log it. Now when I log the message, set the next follow-up. If you don't set the next follow-up, they fall off your follow-ups list. You wanna keep them on your follow-ups list. So I'm gonna follow up again um, in two days, let's say. Okay, you can do any date, by the way, custom date, you can do any date anywhere in the calendar. Okay, so let's log that. So she's on my list again. Now real quick, I wanna to talk to you about this really quick. <clears throat> this is where most people mess this up because they don't follow up enough, okay? And some of you guys are like, this is the part I hate. I want you to write this down. 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and 10th follow-up. 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and 10th follow-up. <laughs> How many of you guys follow up seven to 10 times? Hey, this is the first one I didn't get all the hands up. Okay, there's still some work to be done. I do feel useful still. How many of you believe in your product, like really believe in it? Okay, good. How many of you believe that you can change, change people's lives through this business? Starting with your own, pretty cool. Okay. And you have a true, true heart to help others. Now you're, just, now you're just doing it because you want to feel good. It's all good though. No, I believe you. I believe you. Here's what I want to rephrase that statistic for you just to change your thinking because you need to shift your mindset. Because how many of you don't follow up 10 times because you're worried you're being annoying? Let me see those hands. Just about everybody. 
Let me shift that. Let me rephrase it. 80% of the people you could help, you cannot help at all unless you follow up seven to 10 times. Does that change your perspective on that a little bit? 80% of the people you could possibly help, you cannot help unless you follow up seven to 10 times. Now, that is why I always say following up is an act of love. Following up is an act of love. People don't follow up because they're afraid it's annoying or because they're annoyed. How many of you guys follow up in a few times and they never respond and you're like, oh, I'm so frustrated with this person? Yeah. Here's the thing. Okay, I'm going to teach you right now how to follow up 10 times without being annoying. Okay? How many of you guys want to learn that? We spent a whole week on this in boot camp too. Just about everything I'm teaching you in two minutes, we spent a whole week on in boot camp. Um, 10 times without being annoying. Um, and, and not only will you not be annoying, they will thank you for it because they will feel, they will understand in a deep level that this is an act of love. Does this make sense? Here's how to do it. Two rules. By the way, I put the 10 scripts in Teamsy for you that follow these rules already. The two rules are, and I know that I may be contradicting what you've been taught before, but what you've been taught before doesn't work because none of you raised your hands that you're following up enough, <laughs> right? Number one rule, never ask them to do anything in your follow-up. Never ask them to do anything in your follow-up. Don't ask them to message you. Don't ask them to reply, respond, RSVP, make a purchase, nothing, okay? That is on you to keep following up, not on them to respond. Make sense? But Eric, we've been taught we need to have a clear call to action. Your clear call to action happened when you, when you had your invite, right? You're giving them, talking about the business opportunity. They know what the call to action is. Now you need to just follow up. Now, that's the first piece. Don't ask them to do anything. The second piece of this is your follow-up needs to be written, not spoken, okay? They need to be able to read it and it needs to be short. It has to be short. They have to be able to read the whole message without opening it. Okay, so they should get it on their phone, ideally Facebook Messenger, possibly text message, right? And they need to see it on the lock screen of their phone without opening it, okay? The goal, your goal is for them to just see it and read it. That is it, not to respond. Okay, let me explain this a little bit with you guys. I could go into deep psychology on this. I don't have a lot of time because I've already been talking to you guys a long time. But if you follow those rules, it will work. You guys need to understand that, you know how you said 80%? So 20%, maybe 15 to 20%, 20% statistically, uh, I mean, I think it's even lower than that. But there is a percentage of people who will buy or sign up right away in the first three follow-ups, right? How many of you guys have had some of those? Yeah, probably all the ones you got were those, right? but 80% will take much longer, okay? So what happens is those 80%, the ones that aren't responding, they don't respond at all. So most people won't respond at all. When you, mess, when you, you talk to them, they're all excited, and then you follow up, crickets. Have you guys experienced this? So you follow up again, crickets. And you follow up again, nothing. And you're like, they saw my message, what's going on? I want you to know this is normal. This is normal, okay? Now, what happens at this point is you start inventing all the drama that's not really there to explain it because it, it's beyond your explanation. Oh, well, she doesn't respect my time. Oh, her husband's a bail jerk. He's probably not letting her. I heard that they're going through marital problems. That's probably what it is. Their kids have been so sick. Oh my gosh, right? How many of you guys do this stuff? You make up stories. Look, I just want you to know. They're just not responding because they, they're, they're living their life and their life is a pattern and you're not part of that pattern. That's all. It's not conscious. It's like, boom, I message Kathy. She's excited. She sees my message and she's like, oh yeah. And then, oh my gosh, the dog's throwing up on the baby. I have to go. Puts her phone down. I message her tomorrow. Oh yeah. And it's like, I can't. I'm making dinner. I'll do it later. Don't do it later. Forgot about it. Right? And this goes on and on and on. People won't respond. Most people won't respond at all till the fifth or sixth follow-up, which is way beyond what most people are doing. 
Now, this is why, how many of you guys have had somebody that was interested, they never responded to you, and then they signed up on somebody else's team? If that hasn't happened to you, you haven't been in the business long enough, that's all. That happened because you stopped following up. They weren't ready yet. But you, put, you planted the seed, you watered it, you put some sunshine on it, and then you walked away. Somebody else came along and harvested it. Make sense? So you got to stay with it. You got to keep following up with them. Keep following up. What will happen around the sixth or seventh follow-up is you'll get a message that says, thank you so much. I'm so, so, so sorry. I haven't, follow I haven't responded. Thank you so much for following up. I really appreciate it. Okay. This will happen over and over and over and over again. You got to keep following up. Just follow the rules so you're not being annoying. What you do is you go down your, every day you go into Teamsy, connect with prospects, connect with customers, connect with, connect with distributors, go down your follow-ups list. Send a follow-up and set your next one. Send us follow-up and set your next one. Keep them on your follow-ups list, okay? When they've shown interest, keep them on your follow-ups list. Keep following up like a pro. They'll be like, wow, she is so on top of this. People will think you're the most consistent, amazing person ever. And you are. You just need Teamsy's help to do it. Does that make sense? Okay, last bit here, and then we'll open it up for questions. What I, how I finish her off in the system is, let's say I go into back office and I see, boom, she did it. She signed up. She made a purchase. Uh, she got her tower garden that she's always wanted, and she came in as a distributor. Great. So how do I do that in Teamsy? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look her up again to go to her full record. Okay. And first thing I'll do is right here, there's a little sale button. I'm just going to log a sale. And I'm going to put application fee. So I know she came in as a distributor, save that. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to tag what she got, Tower Garden. Okay, just a tag. You can put, you create these for yourself. So now what I'll do is I'll take this member type from prospect over to distributor, person sponsored. Okay, so I'll continue to connect with her as a distributor. I can take her off my follow-ups list now. Put that to none. And now she'll just cycle through in Teamsy on my distributor list. Make sense? Cool? Okay. So if you guys have, do you guys want to do some, do you want to do some Q&A first or do you want, how many of you guys want me just to dive into talking about bootcamp for a minute? Bootcamp? Bootcamp. Bootcamp. Okay. Let me talk about bootcamp real quick and then we'll do Q&A. Okay. So first off, what I want you guys all to get from this is if you're not using Teamsy, go to teamsy.com and get a free trial of Teamsy. You get 30 days free, okay? So get in there and start building your business with it for free, okay? You don't need to buy anything from me today. Just go do that. Um, also keep in mind, Teamsy is 30 bucks a month for an ongoing subscription, but for Juice Plus, it's only $19.95 because corporate has negotiated a discount for you guys um, and they're endorsing, you, endorsing us to you so you guys get this special rate, so that's pretty cool. It's really inexpensive. If you get one sale because you use Teamsy for 30 days, that pays for it forever, right? Okay, so let's talk about Bootcamp. Bootcamp is a special program that my partner and I created last year because we saw a huge need for training, kind of like what I did today. How much of this training was actually about Teamsy today and how much of it was the approach to the business, right? Teamsy makes it easy to work this system. Um, but you need kind of the fill in the gaps with some skills and, and that approach, that relationship marketing approach. We built the boot camp so that we could take somebody who is brand new and have them polished as a leader by the end, or we can take leaders and have help them redefine their business to be more based on relationships. And it's kind of funny because we've had both come through boot camp. Um, people who are at the very top. Um, of their compensation plan who were like, I can't sustain this kind of cold inviting forever. I hate it. I want to figure out how to build a relationship based business that sustains itself and brand new people who we've been able to help get to the next level. We take you through each step. It's 12 weeks. Okay. It's 12 weeks. Each week we have a specific training course. They're, they're short courses. They're just one topic that we drill into. They're usually 15, 30 minute courses that you take. You have a workbook. We teach you a skill and then we work on implementing it that week. In addition to just getting you consistent, connecting with people consistently, right? But like the first week, we'll get you in there and connecting with people. The second week, we'll teach you how to follow up. And then we'll work on how to transition those conversations better. Then we'll work on things like overcoming objections, how to, um, how to you know, I don't know, I've got some of the, the course, course lists. But we have a different course each week. You get to be in a private Facebook group with everybody that's in boot camp. So there's a group basically that, 
every day, um, Mike or I are posting something about what we're doing today, something inspirational or motivational about what we're doing today. And we expect you to comment on our post when you finished your, your power hour. So everybody in the group, hundreds of people are looking for you to say, yep, I did my work today. It's an amazing accountability environment. Now look, those of you guys who were here early today, you heard me congratulating Kathy because she finished 80% of goal after over 12 weeks. Do you know how amazing that is to be that consistent for 12 weeks, to hit 80% of goal over a 12 week span? How many of you guys in the last 12 weeks have had something happen in life where you put that business on the back burner? You know, Kathy, you probably did too. I mean, you had 100% weeks, right? But over 12 weeks, she averaged 80%. That is the kind of consistency that builds empires. We had people that hit 100%, but I'll be honest with you, most of the people that hit 100%, it's like their second or third boot camp because we have people doing it multiple times. I've got some leaders that are like, I'm just going to sign up for every boot camp because I like the accountability environment. It keeps me going, right? The other things that happen in boot camp is, um, actually, I have a list here. Let me see here. Let's look at this real quick. So, so you get the 12 week training course. Every single week, one of these training videos unlocks in Teams University. You can't see all 12 on week one. You only get, you have to get one each week and we wanna keep your focus where it is, right? You're gonna be working through the Teams ECRM and working your power hours in Teams ECRM. We've got um, the ultimate mindset courses, which, which I was highlighting to you guys tonight, where that has those goal setting trainings which is really cool. The scripts library is in there. And then you're going to get three live coaching calls from Mike and I during the course. We do that throughout the course. Each month we do a live coaching call where we just basically go deep on what we feel like the group needs that week. And you can ask us anything. So it's funny because today I had Rob, who was in my first boot camp, do a Q&A with me uh, on a live video. And somebody asked him, do they teach this? And Rob goes, they'll teach you anything because whatever's not in the course, they'll just teach if you ask them to. And I was like, oh, that is kind of true, isn't it? That's kind of what these live coaching calls are for that you get with us um, live with my, my mentor and business partner, Mike Lopez and I. Kathy, did you enjoy those live calls? Yes, I did. I, I, I thought the entire week, or 12 weeks was amazing. I so paid $300 for a weekend, you know, event in Vegas for like powerful women. Yeah. Right. I don't have 12 weeks of accountability and every week someone telling me what to focus on this week. And I think that was the most valuable part of the boot camp for me. I honestly think it's too cheap, but here's the thing. Well, the reason why we did 12 weeks is because we want to be with you guys for a season of your life. That's long enough that we can really impact your habits. And in 12 weeks, did you guys know this statistically? Um, every 90 days, something significant happens in your life. Some sort of trauma. Now, sometimes traumas are positive, sometimes they're negative. But something happens in your life every 90 days that's enough to knock you out of your business. It could be something great like a wedding or a new baby. And it could be things that are negative and difficult and challenging. Okay? That's why we made this 12 weeks. Boot camps are usually two weeks or a week, right? We made it 12 weeks because we wanted to be, we wanted you basically to be in long enough that you would fall off the wagon and we could help you get back on it so that you knew that you had the muscle memory to keep doing that. Does that make sense? Um, and, it, and we needed the 12 weeks to go through all the content that we wanted to develop for you guys. So this is what you get. If, you, if I were to price these things out, I would charge about 480 just for the trainings, okay? Um, some of you have seen our trainings, how they're priced in, in Teams University. Um, if you did a year of Teams uh, CRM, that's a $360 value. Um, the Ultimate Mindset courses, again, if I were to sell those, it'd be about $300 for those. The Scripts Library, I told you we were going to sell those for $100. We decided to include them. The Live Coaching Calls, this is kind of what Mike and I do uh, for like a call like this, typically, where we're doing a private consultation um, for a business. We usually charge thousand dollars for one of those. So, um, that would be, that'd be what we charge for that. And, um, then a private Facebook group, I can't put a value on that though. I think that's one of the best parts for sure. 
Um, the other thing is, is that um, I will do like this, I'm doing a private call for the team. Um, for the people who, who sign up early, I have an early bird thing where I, where I do a, um, a team call, a private team call for your team. But I believe that early bird thing expires tomorrow night. So that one's coming up fast. So that's boot camp. It comes out to less than a cup of coffee a day for three months. Okay. Um, do you guys have any, if you guys have questions about that, unmute and ask away. I'd be happy to answer any questions. We've done, this is our fifth one. So it's really kind of exciting now to see the results that we're getting. When is the next one? And if you haven't been on Team Z before and you need to do the 30 day trial, are you bumping up against one? Are you going to do the next? I mean, how often do you do these boot camps? And I'm just trying to figure out how to work it out. We've, we do them once a quarter, but you need to know that about 35% of our boot campers are brand new in their free trial when they sign up for boot camp. Okay. So that's not a hindrance at all. It just means that you're going to get a free month of Team Z in the midst of it. Oh. Um, right. So this, this boot camp, we're in registration this week. It actually begins January 28th. Okay. So we're in registration through Monday the 21st, and then it closes. Then we have a prep week. So pr you have action steps for prep week. That's where we're going to do stuff like um, get your goal trainings done, set your goals. You're going to get your Teamsy account totally set up if you're not already using Teamsy. So we have time to do that. And there's time for you to even get a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough if you're technically challenged like me. Uh, I can't even do Facebook Lives right, honestly, so bad. And then um, during that week is when you start to meet people in the group. And one of the, one of the key components of boot camp is you find within the group a success partner to do boot camp with. And they might be Juice Plus, they might be from another network. But everybody kind of puts up, it's kind of, it's almost kind of like one of those dating apps for the first week because it's like, hi, I'm so and so from, from Canton, Illinois, you know, and this is what I'm doing and this is where I am in my business and this is how I'm motivated. And, and you find people that you, you resonate with and you say, hey, you want to partner up. And so part of what we do is we create these connections with, with accountability partners. Some of these people have become best of friends already just in the first year of doing this. Um, but we knew that would happen. Mike and I have done this before in the real estate world. Uh, in the past, we've run events like this boot camp, and um, those people are best friends, like best friends. To this, they go on vacations and stuff 15 years later after doing one of these things. So um, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat because you'll get to meet people from different perspectives, if that makes sense. And then on the 28th, we run. So if you're brand new and you haven't even set up your Teamsy um, uh, free trial, that's okay. Okay. That's okay. What a way to start, right? You're going to get jump right in. Teamsy is really easy to use. I mean, I showed you guys tonight. I kind of went through it. Once you get set up, it's so easy to use. Okay. It's super easy to use. In fact, that's how we got the, the uh, endorsement from Juice Plus. Because when I was on the call with, with Janet and Meredith, um, they said something like, we know Teamsy is easy to use because some of the people who are endorsing it have a lot of trouble using technology. We know them personally. And they kind of giggled. <laughs> so, and I was like, that's high praise, right? Because, you know, obviously they've got to manage a lot of technology for you guys and they know where you guys run in trouble. So um, if I can use it, anybody can use it. But even if you get stuck, that's why our team's here, if that helps. Okay. I have a question. So when does this course be happening for the 12 weeks? Is it a specific time of day? You know, I'm kind of confused. Does everybody get together at the same time? What, how do you do that? It's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. I, I didn't think to address it. It's basically on your own time. So the way this works, Pamela, is each Monday, the new, the new training for the week unlocks. So you have access to it. It's, it's like, oh, dark 30 before you wake up. It unlocks in your, in your university. So anytime you want on Monday or Tuesday, if you can't get to it on Monday, you go into Teams University and you watch the training course for this week. And then your action steps will have that new activity layered into it. Okay. So in the first week, all we're going to be doing is what I showed you today. You're going to connect with your prospects, your customers and your, you know, and your team. And then the next week we're going to add um, a follow-up layer. And then you're going to have an extra action step to do follow-ups. And then the third week we're going to add another layer and you're going to have a little extra action step to do. Make sense. So you do it at your own time, whatever time of day works for you. And we all live together in this Facebook group. So at some point in the day, 
you're going to go into the Facebook group and say, I'm done. It could be midnight. It could be 5 a.m. doesn't matter. You're going to go into that Facebook group and say, I'm done. You're going to put in your little high fives, your, your fun little gifts or whatever you want to do on that post. But it's at your own pace. Does that make sense? The only times we all come together is when we do live Zoom three times during the course. And those two are recorded just in case you can't make it for any reason. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah, I just couldn't figure that out. And then, like you say, then you've got your Facebook to connect with everybody else and have your conversation, et cetera. Right. So oh, that makes a whole lot more sense. I couldn't figure that out. Thank you. No worries. So as long as you are, as long as you are staying on track on your own pace, your own time, but staying on track with the activities and things that you've unlocked in the, in that week's topic of, of, of assignments, yep. you know, and tasks and these things that you need to complete as long you can do it anytime you want, as long as you complete everything within the week. And then you get on the Facebook group, you know, accountability and say, okay, I, I did everything, but you can do it any way you want. You can mix and match as long as you get it, stay within that week. Don't get behind, don't fall behind to stay within that week and right. move on to next week. Correct. Okay. And you probably will fall behind at some point and we'll say, uh, come on, get back on there. And you'll be like, okay, okay, I'm getting back on. Okay. Right. Okay. And you'll come up with all the excuses. That's There's just you. competitive people here. There is a leaderboard. So there is a leaderboard. Yeah. If you're competitive, there is a leaderboard. What is that? That's where we just what, put, what, what is that? So if you go into TeamZ, there's a thing called team report. The team report allows you to see your, your downline can, can give you their stats. They can share their TeamZ stats with you. You can see how they're doing. And in bootcamp, I have a special report that shows me everyone in bootcamp. And so what I do on, what I do is I post every week. Here's the people who did the most work this week, you know, and I post their names up and some people are super motivated by, motivated by that. But I will tell you this, there are people, Kathy, that I, at the very end of the boot camp, I do, I do it differently. I say, here's the people who hit 100% of their goal for 12 weeks. And sometimes I see names there that never made the leaderboard. Like they were just like the hair, slow and steady all the way through. And they still, you know, they still hit home runs. It just depends on how you're wired. But the leaderboard is a lot of fun. Now, I have to tell you that the leaderboard also tells me who's doing nothing. And I wanted to do a negative leaderboard, but Mike talked me out of it. He's too nice. <laughs> he's, he's all about grace. And, um, and he's like, it's not, it's just not gracious. And I go, I know, but sometimes people just need to be woken up and be like, Hey, we all know, look, we all see that you did nothing this week, but we decided not to do that. But however, you will see me occasionally post, um, something that's more generic. Like, Hey, I saw 32 of you took the week off. This is your wake up call, right? So, you know, that's the thing. It's, it's about accountability. It's about, you know, you guys are going are gonna to come to us and say, help me with this, hold me accountable to this. And that's what we're going to do our best to do, if that makes sense. Um, it's just going to give you a push. You guys, should, you know, not you guys, I should say all human beings, like we have to have somebody else pushing us to get the best out of ourselves. We just don't really do it for ourselves. You know, even if you dial in that why, like we talked about a little while ago, and really get that deep, you still need somebody else to help. That's why the best athletes have coaches, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's the whole that's the whole idea here is just having you know and having that synergy in there too. So, can I just ask one more question? And Cassie, I want you to kind of pop in on here too. Um, do you think that this? Uh, program can coexist, you know, in terms of the tasks and all the activity and everything along with brave leaders and, and doing all that. Would you suggest combining those two or would you suggest waiting? Cause I really want to, I need, I have all these contexts. I want to like do it, but I'm just, I'm, a, that's the only thing I'm a little worried about. Am I, is it over? Cause is it going to be overwhelming? Am I, can I handle it is the question. And I'm being totally honest because I'm, I've wanted to do this. I, and I, I said, okay, after Tampa, I'm signing up, I'm doing it. Then the holidays came, I didn't do it. And so now when I saw your post, I was like, you know what? Oh, okay. Let me get on this call and learn about this. And so that's the only thing I'm a little concerned about is trying to, you know, handle all of it. What do you think? 
So I know other people have asked me the same question and I know Brave Leaders is time consuming and you have tasks weekly. And, um, but the one thing I would say is I signed up for the free 30 days. I got busy and I didn't do Teensy. Mm -hmm. And when I decided to pay $300 for a 12 week course and I had accountability and a partner who was relying on me to report, I became more committed. So for in your situation, you might not push hard and blow up the leaderboard. You might just set set your goals and, and hit your goals, you know, mm -hmm. and do the minimum that you have to do so that you can actually get into a system over the 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do your actual power hour. For me, my power hour oftentimes was two or three hours a day, but I was pushing myself to get stuff done that I needed to get done. Mm -hmm. So it's a personal yeah. decision on that time requirement okay. for you, okay. but I still think it would be valuable if you have the funds to do it. Mm -hmm. I would, I think it's the best money you can spend on your business. Okay. Okay. And it's also, I'm looking at the time, like getting started in January, three months from now, it's going right into Sacramento. It's, it's, it's that, that 12 week period of time, that push, you know, that focus, intensive, massive action. Right. It's, you know, that, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well. It's like, you know, just, you know, balls to the wall, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> you know, anyway. Hey, Eric, I have a question that Rihanna can't speak right now. She ha she wants to ask, um, if you've already been using Teensy for a few months, will you keep track of our stats from day one of the first of the 12 weeks? I know I haven't converted some prospects to customers, so I'm wondering if I need to go on and be sure to clean up stuff before boot camp starts. Um, so my leaderboard tracks for the first day of boot camp. So it starts on the 28th of January. Um, so, you know, as far as converting people, yeah, I mean, oh yeah, I see that there. I see your question now. Um, it's up to you. Look, here's the thing. First, let me, let me just address one thing for Alicia. Does, am I saying your name right? Alicia. 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 See, I'm in San Diego, so I want to make everything Spanish. Well, I'm in Irvine, so, you know, we're practicing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, Alicia, one thing I want to say is um, wh what we're going to require you to do in, in boot camp isn't extra time. It's what I'm trying to do is say this is the hour a day you're going to spend on your business all the time forever. Okay. Make sense? It's not extra time. Mm -hmm. It's just um, we're going to put you in an environment where we're going to try to get you to be consistent doing it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So there is extra in that, you know, you got to watch a 20 minute training once a week, mm -hmm. maybe come to a zoom call every once a month. But other than that, and we're going to ask you to read books, but I want you to read books for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's not like I'm, I'm piling a ton of work on you, but it's, if you're not doing an hour a day on your business now, it may feel like a lot, but mm -hmm. that's what I want you to do is be like, that's what we're going to do all the time. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the question to um, Rihanna about cleaning up, that's up to you. Here's what I think is the most important thing for a business person to do is who's the next person I need to talk to. Now, CRM, which is what Teams e is, if you guys know what that is, some of you do, it's customer relationship management system. CRMs have traditionally been used as a filing cabinet where you go log and record your, what you've done. And Teensy does keep track of things as you go. But the only reason why you care what you've done is so you know who you're supposed to talk to next. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the difference between the person who's making things happen and the person who is keeping the office. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So Rihanna, my answer to you is if you have time and you want to clean that up, that, that data up before boot camp, fine. If you don't, don't sweat it. The most important thing is who's next to connect with. Are you generating conversations as an interest? Are we inviting those people and putting them on my follow-ups list? And am I following up with them? And, and Teamsy will always tell me when the next time I need to talk to them is, even if I don't go back and clean up my data. That's the most important piece. Does that make sense? So there, a successful business always feels, you're always going to feel almost overwhelmed, Right? But instead of being almost overwhelmed with worry and anxiety, you're almost, you're overwhelmed with opportunity. But, but I want you guys to know that success doesn't mean the overwhelm feeling goes away. It just means the, it just means the sentiment of it changes. Does this make sense? 
And so, but at least if you have a system, you put some order to it and you know you're doing what you can do and you know that you are being faithful with what's being given you and you're helping more people than you would naturally, that's a good thing, right? Does that make sense? So my answer to you, Rihanna, is um, if you want to do that, you can do that. I mean, that would be the cleanest thing to do. I probably wouldn't do that though because I would just be focused on what's next. That makes sense. Um, some, I'm just seeing, and there's a question here, is there best time of day to do your power hour? Best time as it relates to people are wanting to communicate. Okay, so here's, what I, here's how I would do it. I always did mine super early in the morning. I have four kids mm. and um, they're small. And so at about 6.30 a.m., all heck breaks loose in my house. Like there's no, you know. So I would get up really early um, typically around four, get a workout in, do my devotional time, and then do my power hour. And most people are not responding or looking at messages at 5.30 in the morning, okay? But I did it because I did it then because that's when I could do it consistently, and it worked fine. People would respond to me later, okay? And what I would do is I would then take some time in my day and I would have certain times where I would answer messages that were more convenient times. So I had sent all those outgoing messages out whenever I could. And when I was working full time, I had like a 15 minute break where I would um, go walk around the parking lot of my building and respond to some messages. And then at my lunch, I would take a little bit of time to respond to some messages. And then in the evening after um, the kids went to bed, I would respond to messages. So that's kind of how I did it. I did it really early in the morning and it never, never hurt anybody. Um, I had one time that somebody said, dude, you woke me up at four, 5 a.m. And I was like, why is your phone on loud at 5 a.m.? Turn that sucker silent, right? And why aren't you out of bed? Come on, let's get, we got, a, we got the world to change, you know? So I just made a joke about it and, they, and it worked out fine. Um, the only other time that I would do it sometimes to answer your question, uh, Liana, is that your name? Is my success partner would message me at about nine or 10 o'clock at night. That, that she had finished her power hour and I maybe didn't do anything today. Guess what I would do at nine or 10 o'clock at night? My power hour. You think I was gonna take that, that message from her and not send one back that, okay, fine, mine's done too. And so there were times when my wife would be like, what are you doing? We're in bed and I'm on my phone. I'm just doing my power hour. I haven't done it yet today, you know? Be quiet. Okay. She goes back to sleep, sending them out. So. You can do a power hour whenever you want. The most important thing is that you get consistent and figure out when it works for you. Does that make sense? It doesn't have to be all at once either. You can do 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there in your gap time. Because you can use Teamsy on your phone, you can do it in anywhere you are, okay? And you don't have to think about who to connect with because you just go with whoever's up next. Um, any other questions? Oh, I need to give you guys the link. Don't I? I'll put it right here. I have a question. Um, <clears throat> I am wondering for the power hour, is your power hour complete when all your circles are, I'm assuming that's when you're complete is when all your circles are completely closed. Yeah. You'll the actually get a little watch. message that says hundred percent. You crushed it. Sweet. I look forward to that. <laughs> and then my second question is um, I had noticed there's the $300 up front, but there's also the monthly option. If you did the monthly option, does it just roll in with your monthly, like the 1995? And it, so it's like 40 bucks a month then? Is that an option as well? Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. You, that's, that slide that I had said 29.99, didn't it? For you I guys, saw, yeah. Yeah, for you guys, it's 1995. So, okay, so let me explain this. You have to have a subscription to Teamsy to do bootcamp. You have to, so even if you're in a free trial, we'll ask you to sign up for subscription. You just won't get charged until 30 days is up. So if you go monthly, a monthly subscription at TMZ is $19.95 a month, okay? You can cancel at any time. Um, it's not, you're not locked into a certain amount of time. Or you can do an annual, which is 12 months at a time, which saves you two months, okay? So you can do an annual subscription. So you get your subscription to TMZ because you're going to use that anyways. And then boot camp is $2.97. Make sense? So if you come in and it, for those of you who are brand new, you come in right now and you sign up for bootcamp. Let's say you choose the monthly, the monthly subscription of 1995. You're going to get charged 297 for bootcamp. 
if you sign up for bootcamp. And then 30 days from now, you'll start seeing each month a 1995 charge for Team Z. Unless you do, and, but you're going to get the free trial in there as well? You'll get you a free still trial. get your free trial. Okay. So you won't see that 1995 at all now. You'll see it a month from now. How, so, will you know, how will you know to do that if you're signing up? Um, how will you know that that's part of, you know, let's say that I, that I, that I earned that? How will you know that? When you go to sign up, it's all very clear on the sign up page. It, it walks you through that you're buying. You have two options. You can buy boot camp plus a monthly subscription or boot camp plus an annual subscription. Some of you guys will opt for that because I think it's only, I think it's under $200 for a year for Juice Plus, which is crazy cheap. It's $300 something for a year for everybody else. So it's like $200 for a year. So some of you will go, okay, I'm going to do that and save the most money that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't have to worry about it. And then what happens is, You'll, you'll get charged for boot camp now, and then 30 days from now, you'll see that charge for that annual membership. Okay, so for whatever membership you choose, if you're new, you, get, you still get your 30 days free. I didn't take that away from you. Okay. Does that make sense? For those of you who are already subscribing to Team Z, you're already paying monthly or you already bought a year, you're just, if you want to do boot camp, it's just $2.97. There's nothing else, no additional. Can you put the link back up, please? It's right here in the chat. So you can, I put it in the chat so you can copy it. Okay. Okay. Teamsy.com bootcamp dash training. Oh, there it is. Thank you. So we've got some, um, you know, when I started this, when I started bootcamp last January, we did not have a Juice Plus version of Teamsy. So there was actually nobody in bootcamp that was Juice Plus. Isn't that crazy? This year, I think it'll probably be, I think Juice Plus will probably be uh, more than half of boot camp because the way we're kind of taking off and we've got a couple of people already in boot camp that are massive leaders like top um i don't know crazy like uh, there's there's one individual so far in boot camp that i think has the largest team that's been in boot camp so far we had um we've had i think uh 40,000 people was the largest team we've seen team leader in boot camp, which is pretty big. I think we've got somebody bigger this time, which is kind of cool. And we have a bunch of people with nobody, which is awesome. How awesome for them that they're going to learn. We all going to learn together. So um, I'm excited for it. So for those of you who want to do it, awesome. I don't want any of you guys to feel pressured by this. I just want you to go in and use Teams. You get your free trial and get cranking. For those of you guys who are ready to... Uh, you know, to really commit this quarter to doing something exceptional in your business, come along and we'll do it. It'll be fun. Um, and we do it every quarter. Again, some of you guys might want to do it more, more than once. We'll see. Um, any other, any other questions? Not only about bootcamp, did you guys have any questions about team in general as well? Jackie posted one, a question. Um, do you have a recommended amount of time to set between those follow-ups where you're not getting responses? Okay. Boy, you guys just want to get it all in one training. It's all good. Um, I don't have, look, there's no science behind this. It's been trial and error for me, but I'll tell you what's worked for me. I, when somebody's in, showed me a lot of interest, I would follow up three days in a row. The reason I follow up three days in a row is because statistically 20% of your prospects are ready. Okay. So, and if you look at my follow-up scripts, they're very gentle. They're not obnoxious. So I'll follow up three days in a row and then I start backing it off every couple of days. I might go after the fourth one might be two days later, three days later, four days later. And every time I set the follow-up, I just kind of go by my gut. It's not an exact science. Does that make sense? Um, but typically it, it'll be every few days for a while. And then it might be, every week and then it might be two weeks and then I might set it for three, three weeks. Does that make sense? So the longer they go, the more spaced out they kind of go. I don't follow up 10 times in a week. If that's your question, does that make sense? But, um, but I will probably follow up four times that first week so that they know that I'm on top of it. Here's the thing I want you guys to understand. I said, following up is an act of love, not following up communicates this. I don't care about you. That's the harsh reality of not following up. So you want them to know you, you care and that you're on top of it. 
without being obnoxious. Make sense? I don't know if that helped. Um, will, if we merge phone books and Facebook, will it create duplicates? It will not, Rachel, it will not duplicate a person if they have the same name or if they have the same email address. Okay. Um, you may get a few dupes if um, they use their maiden name on Facebook and they don't in your back office. And we have a deduping tool where you can merge those contacts or you can just do the Eric Johnson way, which is just delete the one you don't want. <laughs> it's faster for me. Delete, I'll take that one out. But, um, so, but here's the thing. If you, if you import in this order, go do your distributors first, then your customers, then your Facebook friends, or, 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 you know, then your Facebook or phone or phone book, whatever, and then you'll, you'll create the least amount of duplicates and you'll have the best data. Make sense. Okay. If you do, you don't want to do Facebook first because Facebook only gives you a name. And then if they're on your team, you're not going to get their address and phone number and everything too. Does that make sense? So that's why you do your team first. Okay. Cool. Was this helpful? My kids are probably like, where is daddy? I need to tuck them in. So, <laughs> I'm going to send you guys on your way. I hope this was helpful. I'm, I'm honored to be here. I hope, I hope that we'll see a lot of you guys on our Team Z family. I know some of you are already. Um, you guys can, if you have any questions, you can send them to support at teamz.com. Um, it's email, support at teamz.com. Um, or you can friend me. I may not be as responsive right away, but I will always get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, God bless you guys. Thank you for having me, Kathy. Hope you guys have a great night. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. I'll send you the recording in the morning, Kathy. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eric. Really appreciate it.